Hi, uh, I'm Goggles. I'm a uh, certified Part 107 operator and I fly FPV drones. And my audio sucks. But uh, I'm here to talk about remote ID, like just a little bit, and uh, to show you guys what I do as an FPV pilot before I fly, is I fly daily in my yard with crappy analog quadcopters that look like VHS things. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Uh-oh. I apologize about crappy production. Um, anyways, so this is, oh, hold on. There we go, gotta get the screen right. So this is my computer. Every day when I wake up, I sit right here and I click right there. Look at how terrible this production is. Isn't that awesome? So, this is ADS-B. Um, this tracks all the planes live and it shows me all the airspace and all that and where I should and shouldn't fly because I know what these things are. And that's an airport, that's an airport. All these little circles are airports. Um, and so, I check um, the uh, yeah, the ADSB, and then I go over here to NOAA, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Association, and I look at their three-day outlook. And we can see there's kind of a stalled front right here. Sorry, you can't see the mouse. And then tomorrow, which is Thursday, and then Friday, it was rainy all in Houston. So, cool. And then after that, I go to the interactive map and I look at what's going on. I see, oh, freezing at 160,000 feet. Awesome, my drone is never gonna go anywhere near that. So I click here, here's the airport identifier. This is Conroe Airport, KCXO. So this report was taken on the 21st at 1853 Zulu. There's 10 statue miles visibility, visibility. sky is clear. Uh, the air temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. The dew point is 24 with an altimeter setting of 2978. Um, so what that means is that we take these numbers, this 36, we plug it into here. We say 36, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, holding the camera at the same time. And the other one was 24. 24. And the altimeter saying is 2978. So 29.78. And we are roughly about 244 feet above sea level. So we hit calculate. Oh, I forgot to put it in Celsius. Cool. So we have a density altitude of 3,220 feet. What that means, look, let's see if I can get it to zoom in. It might not work because of crappy production. But, but anyways, it's, it it's, sucks to fly because the equivalency of stepping out right now of your house or even sitting right here is the equivalent of 3,000 feet. That's how thin the air is. What that means is that when you step out, the air is thin like this so that your little motors on your quadcopters, there's less air for it to grab onto and work. So they'll be working extra hard today because it's hot outside. Now, on a cold day, the density altitude is going to be lower and all the air molecules are going to clump together and do this so that your motors have lots of air to grab onto and it's easy for them to work more lift. So after that, we get on to Sky Vector and we look at all where we shouldn't fly. There's a baseball game, an Astros game going on right there, so clearly don't fly there. Don't go there. So you can fly here. All this, you know, look right here. There's no there's class G with a 3,000 foot ceiling right in here. So we can fly here. This is where I fly daily, and nothing terrible or tragic has happened. Um, this is a thing for my 3D printer, and here we are back to more weather stuff. Um, so yeah, after looking at all of this stuff, this is what I do on a daily basis. After doing all this, the reason why, let me just turn my screen around and see myself. 
The reason why I do those types of things, or these types of things, is that I know the parameters and what I'm working with. If I know the air is going to be extra thin today, then I know to like, okay, be a little easier on my batteries because motors are going to be working harder to get through air that um, is thinner. Or if it's colder outside, I'm like, cool, I can just rip. I'll get a longer battery life today. Um, not only that, but being aware of like literal airspace and like checking all that stuff. You know, um, like I said, we're gonna talk about remote ID a little bit, and this is where it comes in. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous that someone with a part 107 that's been around manned aviation, real airplanes, my whole life, I do that on a daily basis and fly these little things around my house. And like, this thing needs a tracker starting in September, which will make it like it literally won't fly and so the reason why all this is going on is because the FAA has been trying to regulate RC airplanes since the 80s um, finally someone with deep enough pockets can do that it was Amazon UPS all the other people um, like I said in the last video and they're taking here's 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 a little thing I drew again okay here's a little Here's sun, little clouds, there's sky on the ground and all that stuff. Um, but this is what's going on. This little tube, that's that's airspace at like the big airport downtown. This inter international class B airspace. Can't fly there. You have to get approval 10 miles out in a real airplane to get inside of this. But you can fly under it. This is fine. As long as you've got like, you know. And then over here, this is, I just will pretend it's class D airspace, like a small airport. like. Conroe Airport by me, but the space all around, like over here, over there, in between there, all around, you don't need approval to fly a drone in this area. And what the FAA is doing is taking all of this, which we used to be able to fly our drones in and whatever, and they're going to take it and go, Rah! This is our airspace for Amazon drones. You can't fly your little tiny loops or you're going to go to jail because we can't track them. And exactly, you can't track this thing because if you put a tracker on it, it won't fly. It's going to sit on the ground. So for doing little BS gigs and stuff for whatever, flying around my house because I have a donation thing that I can generate revenue starting in September 16th, I have the potential to go to jail for flying this. Even though all the knowledge I just showed you. And there's more packed up in here. I just, I don't know how to get it out into a video. I've got crappy editing software and I'm just working with what I got, you know. Um, but you know, how, how are, you know, how, how does the FAA expect to generate jobs when you can't fly an RC plane in the park, you know, um, like literally everything I fly, if you've seen my last video, like this is a 3D printed FT Mini um, Corsair, and then this is the tank, which I have all the parts for, I just don't have the bolts to put it on. And this thing's going to be illegal, and this is super cool, a 3D printed wing that's gonna be illegal to fly. And I don't fly this thing around my property because I don't have a field big enough to fly it at, so I'm responsible. Like, <sighs> anyways, I think, um, you know, and that's, that's like, look at this. This is, let me see if I can. There's birds around here with a bigger wingspan than this. Like these turkey vultures that come up and circle they're bigger and probably just as heavy if not a little heavier than this so if i have to track this if i'm just flying in front of me right there in a little field and i do all that other crazy stuff all the calculations and like know what airspace i'm in and all that stuff i shouldn't need a tracker on this to fly in front of me however faa you might as well just start start tracking pelicans can like that's the, that's a solution remote id for pelicans yeah whoa
anyways, um, that's my stupid rant for remote ID. Um, tried to keep it a little educating, a little fun, and uh, I said my audio sucks and all this stuff. I place. Like I'm just working with what I got. I'm just one dude. There are a bunch of y'all that have cameras and drones and y'all could be talking about this too and I encourage everyone to do it because if not I mean our our hobby is already dead in September but um, I'm gonna make uh, a couple of videos here in the future about um, how we can be non-compliant and absolutely safe at the same time um, but yeah that's uh, that's what I do, um, but sure, yeah. That's uh, I'll end it here. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's start remote uh, remote IDing uh, pelicans or birds or whatever. Bye. <laughs>